for this video, we're gonna look at a basic lock flow that we do in our JKD night here, in particular in our grappling class or in our close range infighting class. Um, there's all kinds of different lock flows that you'll see from most uh, MKG schools or Inasano schools, uh, the JKD community in general. Most of them that we've learned from Guru Rick uh, have been given to the organization through people like Sifu Larry Hartzell. And so this is just kind of a mashup of a few different things that we like to do in class and we did it tonight so we thought we'd uh, share it today. I'm gonna have Jen start with a cross grab. So very common place to start these lock flows is with the cross grab. Uh, so I'm gonna secure this in place, circle away and towards her center and secure um, either finger down for this wrist lock or secure my hand on her wrist and facilitate the lock here. For the sake of the video, I'm not gonna break down each individual lock and get into all the nuance of each one or how to get in or, or out of it. Um, we'll just look at the flow itself and just kind of allow that to, to dictate what it is we're working on. So this is position one for this lock. The tendency for this is to try to pull away. So as she pulls, we follow along into this lock. Now this can be compression, this could be as much as a throw that way, but we're gonna go from one to two. This one you could do palm on knuckles. You may find that you roll and wanna go forearm on knuckles. We've done it with punching on the knuckles like that, all different ways to get there. Just make sure you don't punch yourself in the thumb. Um, the punching one is great if she's got the dagger in the hand. For today, we'll go palm here or where we grip both sides of the hand. And we grab the meat of the thumb and the meat by the pinky and put thumbs on her knuckle line. So again, we're starting cross grab with this bent wrist flexion. Then we circle out here outside. I'm gonna allow my right hand to take over control so that my left can come free. You might hit or blind to distract. And then this is gonna dive over. I'm gonna move, keeping this secured, her hand towards my armpit so I can bring the ditch of my elbow towards hers and bring this up, right? So we've got lock points here. As this comes up, usually you would add some emphasis here by pushing the head away and or securing your own hand on your forearm. That starts to add this pretty quick. A lot of your partners, you'll find their shoulders are too tight. I'm a bit that way where they can't quite get into it. So make sure you do this slow, of course. So we've got one, two, left arm over, three. Okay, now, if and when we lose this, which is to say it pops out, we're gonna go from there. So we're here and we lose it, so we go up. That is a wrench on the elbow, right? Her elbow is pointed down, her palm is up. So I popped out in this position, I'm just gonna use it. So I'm gonna bring my forearm from a thumbs up position up as I push her wrist and hand down in opposing directions. That's what will facilitate our lock. One, two, three, four. Now, rolling this over top, we lever to get a better position. Allow this to turn in our hand as we fold over into figure four. Now, your figure four can always be a compression of any kind. You might switch your position in some way. We usually use this as a throw or a takedown. Again, we're just looking for position now. So we had here, we roll to lever. See the head move? Now I bring this up as if to elbow. My thumb is in the crook of her wrist. My pinky and hand are lined up with her knuckle and top of her hand. I reinforce by grabbing my own arm. That's the shape of the figure four. And now we're in business. Now the follow up from here typically comes from her trying to push away from this pain or this control, pushing into me. So as she pushes, we turn out and we get a horizontal lock on the elbow. Her pinky, her palm is down, pinky is to the side, so her elbow is to the side. Bang, that's the uh, destruction to the joint here. From this uh, point here, I'm going to bring this around so that her hand goes palm up. And I switch my grip position, again, securing the meat of the thumb, the pad of the thumb. And the same on the other side of the hand. Typically, we try to get where our grip is here so that we're using the thumbs on the knuckle line. So from the top, then we're gonna see one. We're gonna see this as two. 
this one as three. Today this is four. We lever and figure four, that's five. She pushes, so we wrench as six. Now I turn this out, palm up, grab the meat of the thumb here and here. We are always taught to stomp the body. That's to prevent her, as I've learned it, to, uh, from bending the elbow and uh, tackling me. Right, bending the elbow and, and uh, trying to attack in some way to get away from this pain. So you tap them to keep them here. Now we can secure this. The last item for today is to now transition from the meat of the thumb with my thumb on the uh, knuckle line to grabbing the entirety of her thumb. So I've got pad, my thumb will secure into the, uh, the ditch, the groove here between her pointer finger and thumb so that I've got all of that side of the hand in my palm, pretty tight. Now, from here to here, I'm gonna move like I'm uppercutting under her armpit to her face, right? I can, if I need to, get a couple fingers in here to pop the inside of the elbow to help it bend, but at any rate, we move underneath like an uppercut. Now I secure this next to my body, push away, and this classic gooseneck position or come along is where we finish for today. This is a really good place to end because it's usually then how you move them out of the space. So from this cross grab position, I secure, circle away, and then towards center, that's one. Wind this out, that's two. Keep my right hand firmly in place as my left dives over, that's three. If and when this pops out, I lift and push, that's four. Come around the other side to lever, turn that over to a figure four. That's number five for today as she pushes out. I horizontal wrench on the elbow, that's six. I'll allow this to turn around, give her one to keep her in place, secure my position here on the hand, that's number seven. Isolate the thumb, lift this if necessary, and that is on the whole time through. Push, go, and walk. today just to give you a couple cool locks to work on. Um, break it apart, put those pieces back together. Allow for a little bit of dialogue together so that if they feel the pain, you know, what I like to do is stop and go, okay, where do you feel like you wanna go? Like I almost put it on a little bit harder just to see what the response is and go, okay, if her response was to pull that way, maybe that's not what I'm used to. So I gotta go, all right, what's a cool follow-up to that position? And then we'll build that into a flow as well. So um, we use this as a jumping off point. Again, break it apart, put it back together, train safe, have a good time, and thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>